In this video, I'd like to share uh, one of the easiest paths that I've found to get up and running with the Unitree SDK 2. This example will be with GoTo, and I really wanted to work through understanding some of the capabilities and the example uh, scripts in this repo. Now, I'm working towards being able to do this with Windows Subsystem for Linux or Docker, but I've been unsuccessful. So the path that I've chosen, and hopefully uh, you can give this a try as well, is to use Ubuntu 20 Focal Fossa with a uh, flash drive. I have an 8 gigabyte uh, flash drive. You'll want to uh, download the image that is appropriate for your hardware. In this case, I'm downloading the 64-bit PC version. I'm currently on Windows, but what I can do is download this and create the image onto the flash drive either with Belina Etcher or Rufus. Uh, use whatever uh, program you feel most comfortable using and uh, that will work with your setup. So I'm going to go ahead and download the image, uh, burn it to the flash drive, and then depending on your hardware, uh, different PCs, machines have different uh, boot processes. So in my scenario, I use the hotkey, I believe it's F2, and then I can go into the BIOS and select the flash drive uh, to boot into Ubuntu. And so I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to leave it here and then uh, cut to, I'm gonna leave it here and then we'll cut over to uh, running Ubuntu from my flash drive. I'm booted into Ubuntu from the flash drive. Now make sure for this scenario you want to select try Ubuntu, not install, and you'll be able to run everything directly from the flash drive. Let's go ahead and open up our terminal and clone this repo. So I'm copying it and then using Control-Alt-T to bring up my terminal. We'll run git clone on the repo. It's very likely you don't have git installed, so you can see here I'll run sudo apt install git. That will make sure that we have access to the git command. And now we'll clone the repo. It'll download the SDK2 from GitHub to our local machine. We'll CD into the Unitree SDK2 directory, run Visual Studio Code, which I installed uh, prior to uh, doing this video. And now let's just take a look at some of the files. So install.sh is a command that we'll run to uh, set up our environment. So we'll run this before we uh, do any building of the sample code. And then in the example directory, there are many different examples. The hello world just demonstrates a publisher and subscriber uh, that does not interact with GoTo at all, but it just makes sure that you have everything running properly. There's high level control, low level, which we'll demonstrate in this video. Certainly do the uh, stand example with GoTo, which is a very a cool example. You'll need to make sure that your GoTo is laying down and then we'll execute the script. I encourage you to look through it, still learning a lot related to a joint control, uh, but the script will have GoTo uh, stand from a laying down position. We'll go back to the repo readme. Just take a quick look at that. And you'll notice that the first thing we want to do is sudo and run the install shell script that will set up our environment. And then we'll create our build directory, go into it. We'll run CMake. Now, since this is a fresh install, we'll need to run sudo apt install CMake select yes, and then let the packages download and install. With CMake installed and from inside the build directory, we'll do CMake space dot dot. You'll see here there is a, a CMake compiler error. We'll need to make sure to install the uh, build essential tools. So sudo apt install build dash essential click yes or accept, and then the necessary compiler tools will be installed. 
We'll try this again, C make space dot dot. You can see that happens quickly. Then we'll run make and then that will build all of the example code inside the examples directory. Once the examples are built, we can run just an ls on the existing directory inside of our build directory. We'll notice that all of the example uh, binaries are now here. We can run each of these, but before we do, we need to make sure uh, that our network is set up. We're connected to go on via ethernet cable, and then we can proceed. I'll use my Windows hotkey to search. We'll search for network, and we're going to set up the ethernet IP address, basically the cable connection between the PC and go to. You see I'm setting a manual IP. For the sake of this uh, tutorial, please use the identical uh, settings that I have here, 192.168.123.222, a subnet of 255.255.255.0. We'll go ahead and apply that, and that will allow us to uh, boot up, go to, and then have a network connection with it. I'll power up go to, and what you'll notice is that our wired connection is currently active, so that's good. We have the Ethernet connected from my PC to the rear of go to. We'll go ahead and let go to stand. It actually uh, boots and stands quite a bit faster than go on. So the next thing I'll do is one ping 192.168.123.161. That's the computer in GoTo. You can see here we're getting a response and everything is ready for us to proceed. I'm going to lay GoTo down with L2 and A together, then L2 and A together again, and then finally to disable the motors L2 and B. The final thing we need to do is to get the name of the interface that we want to connect to. That's what the SDK requires. You'll notice that ifconfig isn't installed. So instead of doing uh, sudo apt install net tools, I will use a, a command IP space link. You can see that uh, the interface that we're concerned with is ENO2. And so we'll do the stand example go to. We'll give it the interface name, the ENO2. It'll ask us to press enter to continue. Once again, we're in a lying down state doing low level control. You'll see that go to stands and then lays down. So, very cool example of joint motion to get go to to stand in low level mode. Let's look at another example, the advanced gamepad. When we ran make, uh, this code was also built and it will uh, allow us to track button presses from the wireless controller. So I'll run advanced gamepad with EN02. See, I'll start pressing A a bunch of times. It keeps track of the uh, press count. And we also have the ability to detect uh, joystick movement. So you'll notice uh, that we can do all of that with the advanced gamepad example. The following example comes from uh, Go1. It's low level control of the uh, right front knee joint. So I'll run low level, specify the interface of ENO2, and then you'll see the script uh, repeatedly loop and move the front right knee joint, which is a really great demonstration of low level control. Lots of great example code I encourage you to check out and wanted to share this uh, process. You know, what I've discovered is for me, the path of least resistance. I hope it helps you guys. And in the near future, I hope to figure out how to do uh, development with either WSL or Docker. Thanks for following along.